SwiftUI provides a special environment key called Request Review, which lets us request our user to leave a review for our app on the App Store. Now, Apple takes care of most of the work here. They show the UI and hand the responses to it. They make sure it isn't shown if they're already left a review, and they limit how often the review can be shown, so it's not too annoying. We just need to request a review when we're ready. This takes three steps. First thing, we want to add new import up here for StoreKit next to SwiftUI. Second, you want to add a property to read the review requester from SwiftUI's environment. So you'd say at environment backslash dot request review var request review, like that. And third, you've got to request a review when you're ready. Now, when you're just starting out, you'll think to yourself, I'm going to make a button here called leave a review, and that is going to call request review. However, that's far from ideal. I mean, it'll work. It's obviously going to work. I can press run, press leave a review, boom. It works. It obviously works. But it's not ideal because uh, we are requesting that the review prompt be shown. The user might have already disabled these system wide, wide or they might have already uh, received the maximum number of alerts in the time period Apple allows, in which case, the button would do nothing at all. They press believe review and nothing would happen. They'd be confused. Instead, it is a much, much better idea to call request review automatically when you think it's the right time, not based on user feedback. A good starting place for this is when you think the user has performed some important task in your app a certain number of times. Because that's where it's really clear they've realized the core benefits of your app before they try and leave a review.